gotta get to work. <laughs> Don't bother. Oh my god, it's oh, no. Hello, my name is Pete. <laughs> I'm the bass player for the Jazz Opera. These are my colleagues, Ellie LeJoy, the tenor sax player. Hey! <laughs> Annie Lee, the trumpet player. I'm Gabigail, piano. Theo, the drummer. And of course, Kevin Dean. Some people call me the king of cringe. You can call me King Cringin. As I'm editing this, I forgot to mention what a jazz opera is. It's a jazz show on stage with blocking, but no dialogue. So it's just sung. All the performers were all on stage throughout the whole run, like two and a half hours-ish. And each time it's our turn, we just sing our tune. We all got three pieces, and we arranged all of our tunes that was part of the project. But we could also perform some original music. For instance, my tunes and my character storyline was that she's an artist. She comes to the bar with her book and she starts drawing the bassist because she finds him cute. First song was, I could write a book. Second tune, she gets a bit dizzy and tipsy because she had too much to drink, Let Yourself Go by Irving Berlin. Third tune, she realizes that the reason why she was super into this bassist was because he reminded her of an ex love interest and it never really worked out. Hence the third tune, Frozen in 1963, which was a composition that I wrote for the jazz opera. It was really cool. I noticed afterwards that the jazz opera is a challenge. For the whole run, you're on stage and you have to act and progress your character. It's not like you get to go backstage for a few scenes and come back, you know, like you're always there. It was very fun. It was definitely a learning experience as well. And I'm glad I did it. So that is what a jazz opera is. Did I forget anything? Um, Fun fact, I was gonna tap dance, but it didn't really fit the vibe, so I didn't tap dance. But here's a video of me attempting to tap dance. Oh yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. A one, two, three, jazz. One, two, three, jazz. Oh.